Hey y'all, Mike Willis, Doodling Mike here. Um, wanted to talk to you about something besides doodling. Um, you know, I love doodling and I love coloring, but one thing that I like just as much as doodling and coloring is cooking. And one other thing that I like just as much as doodling and coloring and cooking is eating. And what I want to do is I want to give y'all my pinto bean recipe. Now I'm telling you, these are going to be the best pinto beans that you have ever had. And you can change some of the things about the recipe if you'd like, but there's one thing you can't change, and that's the kind of pinto beans I use. Because I use Hanover canned pinto beans. I know, I know. What can I say? But I've tried soaking dried ones and using them that, that way. I've tried every canned pinto bean I can find, and Hanover's is just far superior. I don't know what they do to them, but they just they really go well in this recipe. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a sweet yellow onion. You're going to need a green bell pepper. You're going to need a can of Rotel Hot Habanero Rotel. Not the original, not the mild, the hot, okay? And you're going to need five cans of Hanover pinto beans, the smaller cans. I don't, I don't, I can't even get the bigger cans uh, at our food line. But you're going to need five cans of the pinto beans, and you're going to need a can of tomato soup, and you're going to need a pound of fresh hamburger meat. And you're going to need a pound of Jimmy Dean hot sausage. So the first thing that, that you do is, and I like to do this in an iron skillet, but I chop up my onion and my pepper, and I put a little olive oil in my skillet, get it hot, put my pepper and onion, and I saute them until they're soft. And then I put them in my crock pot. And my crock pot, I've got it on and set on high. So saute the onions and peppers, put them in the crock pot. Then I take uh, my hamburger meat and my sausage and dump it in the skillet, break it up real good, brown it real good. It's going to take five, six, seven, eight minutes or so. Brown it real good and then pour that in the crock pot where I had put the onions and the peppers. And in the meantime, I've opened my five cans of beans, my one can of tomato sauce, and my one can of Rotel hot. So I take my same iron skillet, and that's the good part is I only mess up one pot doing this. And that, for me, that's good. So I dump, my, I dump two and a half cans of beans in the skillet, and I dump half a can of, of tomato sauce, half a can of Rotel, and I stir that up good, and I heat that up. And what I'm doing is I'm giving my crock pot a head start because um, I want to put all the stuff to be hot when I put it in the crock pot. So I heat that up till it starts to simmer, boil a little bit, and I pour that in the crock pot. Then uh, the other two and a half cans of beans in the skillet, the other half can of tomato sauce, half can of Rotel, stir that all up, heat that up good, Pour it in a crock pot. Now, you know, this is quite, you better have a, a, a good sized crock pot. You don't want a smaller crock pot for this. You going and it's gonna fill up the good the big one. I don't know how many get how many quarts that holds. Maybe five. I don't know, but it's a bigger size crock pot, and it's gonna fill it up. And you're gonna think that this is gonna feed 20, 25 people. Well, you know, I don't know. I I got a card game every Monday night. When it's my turn to cook, I cook a pot of these along with, like tonight I'm having country fried steak, homemade coleslaw, and a and a chocolate cherry cobbler. And this big crock pot of beans. And I'm going to tell you, they're going to eat the whole thing. They're going to eat all that other stuff. And they're going to eat, eight guys are going to eat the whole crock pot of beans. That's how good it is. So remember, you can substitute, um, you, you really need the Rotel. You can't substitute anything for that. And instead of tom tomato uh, soup, if you want to put some B8 juice or some tomato sauce or some tomato paste, that worked pretty good. And instead of uh, 
Well, you really need the bell pepper and the onion. I mean, some once or twice I was caught without them, and I used powdered onion and powdered uh, and no pepper, and it wasn't quite as good. So anyway, take it for take it for granted that you're gonna need a whole crock pot of this for whoever's eating it, because they're gonna eat more than one bowl of it. So hope you enjoy it. Let me know how you like it. Thanks. Bye.